This Hello. is Wargoist Gaming minus X Packs, man. Minus A. Yeah. So, we have here, you can't see in the shot, but some. Food items. Uh, not delectable, I'd say repulsive? Mm, at best. Yeah. Uh, food items over here. One thing I actually got here for Easter, so this is what we're doing for our Easter video. Um, the Since rest, we didn't do anything for any other holiday, but the, the rest we've done, and the rest I've gotten at a uh, Dollar Tree, or we just picked up at a, a local grocery store. Yeah, we yeah. have a uh, my a die here to uh, roll to see what we're going to be eating in what order. So let's give us a roll. The tip. Or coconut tips. Caramel coconut tips. By Crown Candy. Uh, there's a description of Crown Candy on the back. I actually don't think that these are going to be too bad. Yeah, they're just going to be weird. I really like uh, caramel and coconut. Do you like coconut? Mm. Both of those materials I'm mad at are ingredients. Because I really like coconut a lot. So. Oh, wow, I got a whiff of that. That was sealed nice. I can eat. It smells like coconut. Oh, you already took a bite? Yeah. It's not bad. It's not the best thing I've ever had. Like, it's really sweet. But I can taste both caramel and coconut. To be honest, I was expecting it to be like a coconut patty, just covered with caramel on the outside and just plain coconut in the middle, not for caramel to be all the way through. Mm -hmm. So that surprised me a little bit, but it's okay, yeah. Not definitely not the best coconut candy I've ever had. I'd say mounds would be that. I yeah. love mounds. Or almond joy. Not mounds. Find them. Hmm. Yeah, not too bad. That wasn't bad. You're expecting worse for Dollar Tree. Yeah, it can only get worse from here. Yeah, especially if you get the a dip. No, it's old. Oh, never mind. Old. Oh. We have here. <laughs> I've never heard of this until today when I picked it up. Clay's brand, Poor Hound, old fashioned home candies. Poor Hound, a Hold on. Here's the thing. On the, the cover, it says natural herbal flavor. Yeah. The thing is, reading down here Poor Hound, fat free, soothing to the throat, made with 100% natural whorehound herb tea. Brewed and steeped in copper kettles to enhance the whorehound flavor. So yeah, it's a flavoring, disgusting. it's not actually what well. it's made of. It's weird. Uh, uh, half of me says this is going to be really cool, and the other half is just like, this is going to suck. Listen to this description on the whorehound. Grandma knew about the soothing benefits of whorehound her herbal tea. I was like, herbal. Who is herbal? <laughs> Why are you drinking this tea? That same natural flavor is found in Clay's Whorehound Old Fashioned Hard Candies. The essence of this imported whorehound herb, herb, is obtained by brewing and steeping the herb in large copper kettles. The resulting whorehound tea is then blended with sugar and corn syrup to produce the familiar brown lozenges loved and passed down by generations of people. Our whorehound candies contain no artificial flavors or preservatives, just natural old fashioned goodness that you will love too. The only thing I don't like about those coconut things is it gets stuck in between your teeth and your Oh. oh, goody. They're open. They're hard. Not individually wrapped. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. They smell like nothing. Okay. Three, two, this is gonna suck. one. It's just like nothing, too. There's a little bit of flavor, but there's barely anything to it. Do you think there's flavor? I don't taste anything. Now I'm getting something, actually. Oh, good. good. Once that like powder comes off the top, it, the flavor starts. It's not bad, but it's definitely it, it's not. It's like a little bit like Cough cold. Drip. I was gonna say cold green tea if I had to say anything. Well, it's a tea. yeah. Actually, that's a great way of describing. It. It's like a green tea cough drop. That's basically it. Ugh. No. No. Oh my goodness. Mm. Ah. Aftertaste is horrible. Oh, I want to gag from that. Yeah. I'm actually gonna keep those because those. Oh please, take for them. voice work. That may be good because oh man, I almost dead from that. that I was mean, horrible. yeah, that's for him. That's a miss for me. It's man. oh the aftertaste, man. <sighs> Anyways, I've had far worse for aftertaste though. So well, so have I. But that's pretty good. Moving on. Um, 
Nuts. Sorry, I see what's up. The dip. Nacho. We have the jalapeno cheddar dip. Which has the thing. those scoops. Just as our chip because we couldn't find cheap enough tortilla chips at our local shop. Now, normally with the cheese dip, what you do is pull off this top and then there'd be like a little maybe pl plastic or like cellophane or paper thing that you peel off the top. Here, pull tab. If Ashton says toss anything, it's avoid this. Only thing that these are good on, Campbell's soup and uh, sardines. Or soup in general, actually. You open these. I've also been craving corn chips. Anyway. Uh, you guys are going to be lucky that you don't have to smell this. I'm really worried about the smell. Actually. Yeah, that's... Oh, goody. Oh, my God. Oh, that's artificial cheese. Yep. <laughs> that's like horribly <laughs> artificial cheese. Can I have a chip? Dip? Not a whole lot. Oh, my goodness. That is so, like, loose. I, I expect... And maybe I just expect dip, dip to be, like, thicker, but this is, like, Then again, thin. this is supposed to be heated up, but... Oh, okay. Three, two, one. For some that's advertised as jalapeno, it's not too spicy. Okay, now I'm getting spice in the back of my throat. I Oh, that was a bad idea to just swallow it. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting that in the back of my throat. <laughs> I wish we brought that for some. Yeah, I'll take a little more, though. That's actually not too bad. It's not horrid. I mean, since we have the lid, we can keep it for a little bit, but I would not recommend this. No. I mean, if you have the choice between, like, this or This or, like, Tostitos dip, get Tostitos, please. Yeah, get the name brand or nothing. Oh, my goodness. That's spice a lot. That spice surprised me. I thought this was going to have, like, no spice at all. Hand me the dice, then. Hmm. Wow. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad, I have to say. That's okay. Well, I mean, we're good. I mean, we we're have probably the... going to finish that off later yeah. when we play video games. Um, Reroll. That was nacho. Nacho. Tips. We've had three already. So. Tips. Tips. Egg. But that's not oh, nacho. I was counting the lid that keeps falling off. I mean, marshmallow eggs. Okay, this is the thing I got for Christmas. Now, my name is... Wait, Christmas Easter. <laughs> <laughs> they both they both have to do with Jesus. Shut up. Um, <laughs> and buddies, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> well, and candy, actually. You could connect those two. My name is Zachary, so my grandmother got me Zachary brand marshmallow eggs. I actually got some of these yesterday as well, and I was going to text him saying, thanks for the marshmallow eggs. Okay. But his grandma beat so, me. Flavors. Raspberry, cherry, orange, strawberry. Okay, normal enough. Normal variety for candy. Raspberry. And a pink. Cherry. Red. Mm -hmm. Expected. Orange. No crap. Strawberry. Either the oddest breed in the world, or they were lazy. They could have called a blue raspberry and put in a blue wrapper and just say the pink for strawberry. Or not make strawberry, make lemon. Why do they put strawberry in yellow? The biggest well, flop in product history. Good thing, there's two for each of us. There's there's one for each of us, for each flavor. Okay. Here's how we're going to decide this. I'm thinking number no, we're doing each, one and four. We're doing each one. Oh, at once? Well, no. which one do we start with? Uh, let's just go in order. Raspberry. Okay, I was going to say. This is the one I'm worried about the most, to be honest. I don't like raspberry at all. At least the flavor. Have you ever had fresh raspberries? Yeah, I mean, I don't mind if it's with something like cheesecake, but on its own. Or I'm sorry, raspberry. It's how it's spelled. Dude. It's just chocolate eggs covered with marshmallow interior. Yeah, I'm gonna break it open and see what it looks. Oh, oh no, it's this kind of marshmallow. <sighs> the stuff that'll coat your arteries. God damn it! Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's too weird. Oh my! Oh, that's all. <laughs> Here's the thing. I had about half a box of this yesterday, so I'm used to this. Oh, oh no, 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 oh, that's the worst. I hate raspberry flavor already. That's not helping. Yeah, I'm with that. Cherry. This now, is the one I'm the least favorite or least worried about because it's you know think about cherry cordials. Yeah, I'm 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 slightly excited about this one because cherry and chocolate go well together in my opinion. The one I'm least 
uh, anticipating is the next one. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Artificial coloring. Oh, did it, did it do one go? Yeah. That isn't too bad. I don't know what I expected. That actually isn't too bad. Yeah, like, it's fine. It's just a cherry cordial marshmallow egg thing. Orange. Now, he said that he doesn't like the combination of orange and chocolate. I think that's not too bad. I am the most worried about this one, honestly, just because it's... Well, well the one I was most worried about is already passed, so, yeah. Smooth sailing for me from here. Hopefully. The next one's probably the one we will both be worried about, because honestly, like... Actually, I hate strawberries, so I'm not exactly oh, yeah. excited for that. Oh, my. That's the most artificial orange. There's no... That orange is so artificial, it belongs at a rate. That's like, it's it's shining. It's like well, that's translucent. The, that's because of the marshmallow texture. Well, All marshmallows I, I don't, do that. I don't think any food is actually this color. I mean, carrots are kind of this color, but they're, they're, they're different. I mean, there's something <laughs> different about it. It's like unnatural. Three, two, one. Oh my, oh. No. And that is the strongest artificial orange flavor no. I've ever had. Oh my, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was... In the trash you go. Yeah, both of these in the trash. Mm, oh good. my goodness. That was horrible. Bud off. That is, that is atrocious. Least, uh, I don't, least interesting and possibly the easiest one that's going to sell by. Right next to cherry. Well, the like. thing is, I don't like strawberries because of the texture of them. I... Hey, like... Thank you. Okay. Um, you not. I, I just don't like Wait the text. Again. Apparently, they, they, apparently the Lambo didn't like it when I said I don't like strawberries. You don't like strawberries and you're gonna love them. And yeah, this looks okay. Yeah. yeah, it looks fine. I don't mind the taste too much. It's just... Oh. <laughs> Oh, uno, dos, tres. It tastes like nothing to me. That's because of the whole <laughs> Probably. It burned off my taste buds. That's not bad. No. It doesn't taste like anything to me. Well, then I gotta put the strawberry marshmallow bar on directly on the pung. Well, hang on. Let me just get a little bit of marshmallow on its own. Okay, yeah, that's not too That's bad. a very faint flavor of strawberry. It's that, actually really nice, actually. I finished that entire thing. That's not too bad. Um, die. <laughs> oh, man. We only have two left. We might as well just choose All right. what we get. We have... well, let's do the the one we're least Yeah, worried let's about. do that one last since we can't really follow it. Yeah. Well, we have a... I'm bringing up the trash bin for this one. Okay, then let's do the one we are both worried about last. And the curtain fell down. Whatever. <laughs> Extra gum. No, I'm sure you've heard of extra gum before. I mean, come on, there's so many flavors. Sugar free gum. However, I know this isn't new because I've seen these plenty of times before. These have been out for a couple years now, actually. Dessert delights. I never understood the thinking behind now, this. The other flavors, those are fine. Key lime pie, uh, strawberry shortcake. Uh, no, I don't like key lime pie at all. I think it. Yeah. But those ones tasted fine. But Mini this is the weird chip. Yeah, I've the never least. had a good chocolate gum, and I've had about two or three. I mean, mint, obviously, um, my gum can do well, but I'm worried about the Much chocolate. Much expert. Two flavors. Then again, it's a kind of a rarity. But, like, how can you take ice cream, a classic ice cream flavor, and translate it to gum? We're about to find out. Might have to have some more than not to dip to get this taste on my mouth later. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot that extra uses these I'm so... That's... Oh my! Oh no! No! Oh, this takes me back to when I tried this once. It, it was not a good. Time. You're gonna have a bad time. We have the stick here. Actually, smells pretty good. Actually, smells really faithful to the flavor. The actual ice cream. Una, una, seis. You know, 
This is like instant regret. Because this is actually pretty nasty. But only from the idea that you're chewing ice cream. The weird thing for me ugh, is that the first taste, the first flavor I get is the mint, which is it's good. the strongest. I, yum can do mint well. I mean, come on. Then I get the chocolate. Look in your gum drawer. Hang on. Then I get chocolate, and the chocolate kind of is on its own for a little bit. Then the two mix, and I just want to throw up. Give me a tip, please. Um, thanks. I'm fired. I can't believe I'm gonna go for for more nacho cookies. At least that was good. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to throw this out because it's like that is nasty. Like I I collect a gum for pretty much chewing for making videos and such. But that is nasty stuff. I will not drink that. Oh yeah, that willing to This is the worst. They say you won't drink that. Eat this I drink? I don't know. Chew. I will not chew. Thank you. I think ice cream then like yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drink it. Okay, so that kind of got the taste in my mouth. I still have a strong taste of mint, and mint and pepper don't go well together, and now I realize I have a... This is the one we're both like dreading. Now, I pray to God that this doesn't taste like what it's advertising. Gummy fried eggs. Yeah. I mean, gummy frogs is like, yeah, you kind of feel that, but this is something in a dollar store. Don't trust the dollar stores. Oh, boy. It has... In it, so I think it might actually taste like that. Oh man, man, oh man. Because people put paprika on fried eggs, so I'm not like wrong about that, right? I do. I don't eat fried eggs, so I don't know. Then again, I only eat hard boiled and scrambled. Then again, if it's like for the yolk texture. Oh my god. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. You what? enjoy our suffering. What have we got ourselves in? Okay. What have you gotten us into? You bucket. First the white, then the yolk, then both. Okay. Fine. White. That actually tastes like a gummy. I don't know. It's like vanilla. Hmm. Like I like smell again. Like I think uh, cake frosting. Oh my goodness, you're right. Okay, now let's try the yolk. I don't want to swallow this. It's <laughs> nasty. Yolk. Oh. Ah. Mm. Holy crap, that is resilient. I did like shave around it. Oh, you took it all off and then you bolted it. Ah. No worries, you can get another one. I just took it by the. Oh my goodness. Oh my. We're totally throwing it. Oh, God, those are gnarly. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I tried both. Look, I tried both. Don't try that. Don't. If you see these in the store, I doubt you will. Don't even think. <laughs> like, just go nope and done. Guys. Uh, oh my. That made my stomach, like, literally. Oh, uh, no. Okay, here's the thing. We have three. In my opinion, three okay. No, I'd say that out of the strength, no, I'd say that this was good. This was okay. This I didn't like it at all. Yeah. Then again, it was supposed to be like a herbal cough drop. Yeah. What can you use? And then, of course, you know the marshmallow eggs. Duh! It's a it's an Easter tradition in some families. So I didn't know what I was going to expect. Uh, maybe something I can stomach down. The that nacho dip seems to be doing fine. The uh, coconut tips, that's what they're actually called. Those ones are nice, actually. They have, they're smooth. Like, they look hard in the packaging. And, but they, actually, and they taste pretty, like what they advertise. Yeah. The caramel isn't very strong. Like, it's a very soft caramel. Um, but overall, if I'm going for, like, a caramel coconut sweet, yeah, I'm going for this. This, these, which you, <laughs> I've described so nicely, um, uh, I'm probably going to consume these because honestly, if they work on your throat, fine. I have throat issues. I can't stand the aftertaste in them. I've... The aftertaste is bad, but honestly, when I'm doing voice work, I have a cup of tea right next to me. So it's just like, tea, tea, come on. The thing is, I mean, the thing is for me, when I drink tea, I generally don't tr drink it like I'm sweet. 
whenever I drink tea, especially iced tea, especially iced tea. I Only way to drink, dude. No, no, I've had iced tea that is unsweetened. It is horrible. At least in my opinion. I mean, I know some people I can't drink. Like, horrible is a strong word. It depends where you get it. Like, uh, uh, br- brisk iced tea unsweetened I've had. It isn't bad, but it's just outshined by the unsweetened tea. And I think it's like unsweetened iced tea. No, we're eating the jalapeno dip because we just want to get the taste of. Yeah. Um, throw the eggs away. That one's horrible, but it's. I hope you appreciate what you. What we do to you. <laughs> yeah, this is an Ashens parody. Uh, you see, during the Ashens food specials, the opening has his caricature throwing up. That is very, very, very accurate to what we feel right now. Yeah, I'll be eating the coconut tip and the cheddar tip, though. Those weren't too bad. Yeah. The gum on your. It smells nice. I will give it that. It smells really nice. Taste? Nope. I'm an engineer. Yeah. Nope. Or fake food. Anyway, this has been Wireless Gaming for food tasting special. Numero uno. Wireless Gaming rips off fashions. What do you say? Or what I say? It's up to you. Yeah.